Hello, everyone, and welcome back to our Sage and Tack Tips and Tricks. Today, I wanted to go over all of the different preferences that you're able to change and update within Sage and Tact. So when I logged into Sage and Tact, it brought me as a default to the applications page. This is where Sage has all users go to by default. So what you can do if you want to go into a different module. So we have all of the different modules listed in here. And say I am an accounts payable person and I actually want my screen to start in accounts payable every single time that I log in. So what we would do is come over here to our name and go to my preferences. And then we'll scroll down to display. So you'll see that there's many different options within your preferences and you can go through and see which ones that you want to look for. And we'll come down here to display and tell it, I want to, every time I log in, I want to log into accounts payable module. So you would select accounts payable module. And then the next time you log in, that's where your starting page would be. We also, because I'm in top level and you can see, it says that I'm in top level up here at the top left. And my top level color is white. So say you want to change the color. So that way it pops every time that you're in a different entity and you're able to see the different ones clearly on the colors, we can change our color and tell it to save. And once it updates, it'll actually update the color in real time. So as soon as we're done updating it, it will change the color up here at the top level. There's also another functionality where you can just click down the down arrow here, and then you can actually see all the entities that you have and all of the different colors. It also allows you to change the colors here so that way, just in case you have one entity, one color, and you forgot what color you had for each entity, you're able to just change it within this top screen right here. And then that way you don't have to go into your preferences. Now we're gonna go look at the dashboard and I wanted to go in as an accounts payable manager so I could show you that you can actually add a function in here so you can see right away what bills that you have to approve as a manager within Sage Intact. So if you have approvals set up within Sage and you have a specific manager that really wants to be able to be like, okay, I don't know what invoices need to be approved or looked at, you can actually get a list of them here on your dashboard, which is very convenient because then you can actually see, okay, this is what I'm going to have to go through today. And then you can set it up where you have the links so that way when you click on it, it will pull it up so that way you can review the bills, approve the bills, or decline the bills. And this is just an added feature in here in the dashboards so that way you can customize it as you see that this accounts payable manager also has creating a vendor, a bill, pay bills and running ledgers. So you can use this functionality to be able to have hyperlinks to anything within Sage Intact. And just like anything else, when you click on it, it will open up a hyperlink. I hope you enjoyed our tips and tricks today. Please let me know if you have any questions and let us know if you would like to reach out and talk more about Sage Intact. Thank you. Have a good day.